Welcome to the Pawn Reboot Podcast, where you get practical tips to gaining control over your pawn or sex addiction. I'm your host, JK Amazi, Certified Sex and Porn Addiction Recovery Coach. Welcome to the episode. Today, we're going to be speaking to one of my clients from the Pawn Reboot Intensive who has gained control over his out-of-control behavior with porn and masturbation. His name is Tyke, and I'm really, really glad glad to have him on the podcast. Tyke is one of those individuals who struggled a little bit with understanding the system because he was so caught up in the ways that we typically try to end this behavior, which is using our willpower and counting. And the funny thing is, even though he was in the reboot intensive, it was actually a moment while driving to work, while listening to this podcast, that everything suddenly clicked for him. And he understood the system. He understood the core of the system. And a lot of men have described that to me. Like, JK, I was trying to get the system. It's well thought, but I have a lot of these limiting beliefs, a lot of these thinking errors from my past that hold me back from really understanding it. And I get that because my system is radical in the sense that it does not follow the traditional methods of recovery. It's a very simple system. But it's not easy because it requires a paradigm shift. The beautiful thing is, once you make that change, once you make that transformation, you experience recovery in a very fast time. It happens really quickly. And a lot of guys... (laughs) Go like, dude, I've been through 12 steps, I've spoken to therapists, I've done all sorts of things, but it's just amazing. I don't know exactly how it works, JK, but dude, you were right. I've been here and within 12 weeks, I have more control over my behavior than I had my entire life. So I don't know what the magic is. And I tell guys, you don't need to really understand how it works. The fact is that it does work. But if you figure out how it works, that's good for you. But Tyke figured out how it worked. It all clicked for him, ironically, while he was you know, listening to a podcast episode, <laughs> as opposed to um, actually being directly in the reboot intensive. Um, so... He's in the intensive, and he's going to share his experience with you. Enjoy. All right. Can you uh, introduce yourself, your age, and uh, just tell us what you do, man? All right. So my name is Tyquan Price. Uh, My nickname is Tyke. That's what everybody calls me. Tyke. Yeah. Uh, I'm 25. I'm from Brooklyn, New York. Uh, I'm an artist. I've been drawing my whole life. It's like... I started taking it seriously about four years ago, and I wish I'd have done it earlier. I guess, like, your talent really is where, you know, um, life will lead you. Like, um, I found, like, instant, like, quick success in it. I, I still want a lot more to go, but, you know, it's that's what I do right now. Um, and I also work um, in homeless services. Okay. So I help people on a daily basis, so that makes me, that gives me, like, a purpose, you know. And um, I feel like, you know, everyone needs help. So that's, you know, that's basically what I'm about. <laughs> awesome. Thank you for sharing, man. <laughs> and um, I mean, what was it that was happening in your life that made you want to, um, you know, become a part of the Porn Reboot Intensive? Like, what was what was the reason? So I I can honestly say I realized that I was probably... Well, I realized I was addicted to porn around, like, 17. Okay. Um, How old are you I'm, right now? I'm 25 now. Okay, cool. So, 17, and the only reason why I knew 17 made a difference was because um, I started uh, having, like, erectile dysfunction. Mm. So, you know, at a young age, and I was like, man, where, where is this from? So, I instantly just, like, imp- it has to be, like, the porn or something, because it was something that I was engaging in years before that um and on top of that just feeling like depressed a lot and feeling like disconnected i knew that wasn't normal and i was like i'm definitely feeling lonely because of all of this like i'm not actually interacting with people i'm just watching videos and you know feeling down every day so around that time i that's probably when i became aware of myself and uh that was definitely the change and, you know, myself and I, 
told myself I need to just do whatever it takes. And I found the I found your videos online and just totally by accident. Um, <laughs> that's that was when I used to look at NoFap and stuff, and that wasn't working. And then I was looking for something. I like I just kept looking for something. I found your videos, and I was like. I, I spend money on anything else. I'm not going to invest in myself. <laughs> mm-hmm. The rest is history. <laughs> okay. And I'm really curious though, you know, mm-hmm. um, if you'd been doing, uh, you know, all the stop fapping stuff and you'd been looking at those videos, that's a lot of tips. There's a lot of information out there. Mm-hmm. Um, what was it that made you feel that you should invest in this as opposed to just what I've got like tons of material out there instead of just watching all my videos, what made you go like, well, I'm gonna invest in this. Um, because I felt like it would make a difference. Um, all of the videos that I would watch, um, just in general, just the whole scope of uh, people that speak on uh, PMO. Um, I, I was, I, I didn't feel like I was really um, changing. Mm. And I felt like. I was I would go on like streaks or whatever and nothing would really change. I felt like I needed to actually, you know, invest in myself and maybe I was just looking for something. I was like, maybe it's gonna be something that I can't find online. Like, mm-hmm. you know, there'll be an actual system. And um that's exactly what worked for me. Before I didn't really have continued guidance. So with with paying for it, it was like uh, I'm going to be a part of something continually every day and I'll be, uh, you know, accountable to somebody and somebody will be accountable to me. Got it. Okay. So is, is the program what you expected? Um, oh yeah, more than what I expected. I didn't, I didn't know what to expect, honestly, because I was, uh, <laughs> like I said, I was just being hopeful. I'm like very optimistic person. And I was like, I can't, you know, I don't want to live my life like this. Like, you know, and, um, so once I joined and I seen like, wow, this is like, this is like real legit. And, uh, um, it, it, it had, it basically built a community for me to go to like every day. Mm-hmm. And, um, it definitely became more than what I expected because it showed results that I can measure. Mm-hmm. And, um, yeah, so I, I just appreciate the program for sure. Awesome. And I, I'm curious, um, Ty, what are some of the, what's the value that you feel that going through the program and learning how to uh, uh, quit porn and control your behavior with masturbation, what's some of the value that you've seen that it's brought into your, just your day-to-day life, your relationships, um, your biochemistry, how you feel, um, the way you think about your future, how has that impacted you? So... First of the biochemistry, um, that has definitely took a positive uh, role in my life now. I uh, I make sure that I wake up early every single day. Even on my off days, I'm up 6 in the morning. And uh-huh. um, on my days when I go to work, I should be up at 6, but I wake up at 5. I wake up even earlier. Than uh-huh. <laughs> and um, I do get sleepy towards the end of the day, but uh-huh. it's because... Uh, I used to go to sleep probably like two in the morning, <laughs> like, <Yeah. laughs> uh, especially as a college student, like that messed up my whole biochemistry. I used to go away to school. Um, but now like having a set time, waking up and going to sleep mm-hmm. for me, I just have like better energy in the morning. Mm-hmm. And one thing I realized is like when I first started doing the morning routines, um, my feelings probably every day were like pretty bad feelings. But as I kept it consistent month after month, now mm-hmm. I basically have three positive feelings every morning. Like, even if I'm tired, I usually have a good, I usually feel peaceful, calm, energetic, or, um, yeah, one of, like, any of, always in that ballpark. Because mm-hmm. I, I, I was just looking at my old journals, and I would see that, oh, I feel anxious. And sometimes I feel anxious maybe because of something that might have happened the previous night. But overall, like, I just feel more, like, at peace Mm -hmm. um and i just have more energy throughout the day i just feel healthier my mind feels healthy my mind feels healthier um i'm not so uh just scared to speak to people i think that's my most favorite uh benefit so far Mm -hmm. is that i'm able to like talk to strangers now actually have conversations and 
people just come up to me a lot more now. I don't know if it's like the, I don't know what it is, but yeah. I have like <laughs> energy now, like that people really like to speak to me. And um, that's one thing I've always wanted. And I feel mm-hmm. like I've gotten that. Dude, that's awesome, man. Those are some awesome changes. Yeah. Um, how would you say that your behavior with porn and masturbation has changed? You know, like a lot of guys, some guys are like, dude, I had no control. It was like every night, every other night, or once or twice a week, I was binge watching porn. What's the difference now with that behavior? Uh, the difference for me is I'm not doing it at all. <laughs> like, <laughs> like at all, at all, at all. Um, yeah. For the longest, like I've said, um, one thing I want to account it to was, one thing that was important for me was listening to your podcast. Um, oh, okay. And it was a podcast episode, like, and it changed, it changed my whole recovery. It's when you were talking about um, not counting days. Mm-hmm. And you've always said that, but, I, like, I was just so used to that from what I've seen before. Um, when I used to just look at, you know, other systems. Mm-hmm. And after I stopped doing that, um, I felt much more free and more relieved. And I literally just have not, like, uh, I don't feel urges no more. Like I don't, I don't uh, even look at material that are suggestive that can lead me to porn. Um, I've just became very aware. So like, I, I just have like no relationship with it at all. So I'm just like really excited about that. That's awesome, man. It's awesome when you learn, when you, you you experience the freedom of no longer counting, that pressure, no longer being mm-hmm. obsessed, yeah, um, with your recovery. You actually remember your post when you said that you had you shared that you had uh, you had listened to that podcast. I, I think that's when you got it. You got the concept. Yeah, really. It's like I heard it before, but it just really hit me the way I, I listened to it that day. I was like early in the morning going to work, mm-hmm. and I was like, "This is it." <laughs> like I just had like that moment. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I don't know just have that moment. Yeah. Awesome, dude. Awesome. Good to hear. Now, what would you say to someone who um, is similar to you, who was, you know, thinking about doing the program, somebody who had watched a bunch of the stop fapping videos, who had been trying, wasn't getting results and was like, man, like you, Mm -hmm. you took a risk. You jumped off the cliff. No (laughs) parachute. Like you said, you, you didn't even know what to expect. So that's pretty risky because there's a lot of stuff on the internet. So what would you say to someone who was in your shoes, and similar shoes like you were who's thinking about doing the program um honestly i would say listen to your listen to that voice in your head um if you really want to change your life you you just have to make sacrifices um Mm -hmm. if you've never did anything like this before i really encourage you to do it it's better to try something than not do it at all and just regret and years go by and you're still in the same situation and and this addiction in particular, uh, well, like any other addiction, it can really ruin your life. So it's like you don't really have much time in terms of, uh, you know, like what you're willing to risk. You know, if I didn't join this program uh, in 2018, October, this year, I still would have been dealing with the same thing. Um, my depression could have been at an all-time high. I could have been... You never, God forbid, like where I could have been. Mm-hmm. So if you, you know, if you, if you have a plan, um, and you know you you're in a position where you can join this program, I really feel like you should. It'll change your life. Um, it's just it's worth it. It's just worth taking risk in life. Um, and where I was, I was I felt like I was at rock bottom, and I just needed I needed something. Mm-hmm. something different something new and the program's been that for me awesome how would you describe the entire program your whole experience since you joined in one word just for you type what's one word that describes it for you transformation okay transformation yeah it overall it's just it's a transformation of everything <laughs> like mm-hmm. it's a new person uh new friends you know through the group new community it's just a whole full transformation mm. okay awesome awesome any last thoughts or final words for those who are going to be watching this um 
just anything just from Tyke to to guys who struggle with this, you know. I mean, I talk about this all the time. What do you have to say to guys just from your heart? If there's anything I can say is you just never I, it sounds so cliche. I know it sounds extremely cliche, but <laughs> never never give up. Like if this is really if you really want to transform your life, you want to do something, you want to change your life, um you can do it. Uh there's been times when I was really deep in this addiction and I felt like I had no control. I was like, I have no power. Like I literally have no power over this. This is something that is going to have me for life. I'm not going to have power over this. This is something I'm dealing with alone. But if you, if you realize it's all about just being aware, if you realize that if you just tell yourself like you, you can do this, you can get through this. There's other people that have gotten through this. And you see that that model of uh, getting through this exact situation, you can do it too. Um, a lot of times we feel really hopeless, we feel defeated in this addiction, but you actually have the power and you just don't realize it. And it just takes basically not giving up, just keep searching for something. You'll stumble on something. I stumbled on JK has been the biggest blessing in my life. Um, just never give up. Just know that you actually have the power to transform your life. And it's nothing that you can't do. You just have to believe it. And once you believe it, you know, you look for it, you start to act on it, and then you'll change your life. Awesome. man. Ty, thank you so much for taking the time to share your experience with us. I hope guys benefit from it. Uh, love hearing your story. And of course, I really enjoyed seeing your progress. And um, you know, you're still with us, so I'll be looking forward to more progress uh, moving forward. All right, man. Thank you. There you have it, gentlemen. Nothing quite like hearing directly from someone who has been through the process. I really appreciate your taking the time to listen to this episode of the Porn Reboot Podcast. Now, whenever you're ready, there are a couple of ways that I can help you end your out-of-control behavior with porn, sex, and masturbation. If you're looking for the easiest way, JK, how can I learn about your system? Grab a copy of my free ebook. It's called Confessions of a Porn Addict, Seven Secrets of Porn-Free Men. There is a link to grab a hold of it in the description of the podcast. The second way is if you are on Facebook is to join our free Facebook group. Now, it's a community where you can find yourself an accountability partner who is also using the system, and I'm quite active in there as well. Now, if you're not a Facebook person, if you're like, hey, I'm not really into social media, that is fantastic as well. We have a lot of other resources, a lot of other free courses which I offer, all of which are available using the links in the description of the podcast. Now, if you've enjoyed the podcast, if you like the simple, straightforward information that I've been sharing with you and you find it helpful, please subscribe and leave a review of the podcast. A lot of people see the podcast and they have no idea what it's about. <laughs> Please do share how it has been helping you using the reviews. I really appreciate it. And a lot of other men who are lost and struggling with this um, for the first time ever are able to find hope and are able to find a way out of this by listening to this podcast. Thank you so much for your time. And I'll speak to you later in the week.